Hello, let me show you how to spruce up your plain miniature glass jars with a new look. These jars are too big for the scale that I work in, so I'm going to try to turn them into a fancy candy container, decanter. Here are some other little things that you could also apply the same technique to. I cut eighth inch wide strips of plain paper and glued them together on the ends and then gently curled the, pa curled the strip with my paintbrush. I used a twelling tool to roll the paper up. I rolled it until it was just a little bit wider than the, the opening of the jar that I was going to use. Here I'm gently prying it off of my twelling tool because I always have a habit of winding it too tightly. Pressing it flat and then holding it up to my jar. And I'm starting to gently pull the outer edge down over the rim of the glass jar. You're creating a lid. Now I'm giving it a light coat of Mod Podge to glue all the layers together in the position that I like. Now this part is optional. It's really not necessary, but it depends upon how you want to finish the top. I was going to use a bead, so I wanted the bead to not sit up on top of it, but I wanted it to dip down in it. I'll show in a minute. Here I'm carefully removing the center to make room for that bead. And here I'm checking the bead to see if I like the way it looks. I liked it, but I decided to do something different. Here I cut a strip of paper that was about a sixteenth wide and maybe two or three inches long. It just depends upon the look that you want. And I rolled it up. Here I'm showing you how I shaped it to give it that kind of rounded top. This jar lid, I rolled two different widths of the little dome shape and then stacked, glued them stacked on top of each other. I plan to turn the jar upside down and use the bottom for the top and the top for the bottom. Gives it a pedestal look. And now I'm painting a thin layer of wood glue over all of my lids. I almost painted them a solid dark color but then decided to do the, the wood look. I decided to give them a coat of Mod Podge, but it was probably really not necessary. I just wanted them to have a little shine. I'm using some recycled packaging to hold the contents of the jar inside since I've turned it upside down. I'm not gluing it, I'm just using double stick tape in case I change my mind later what's in the jar. I have my jar filled with the candy and now I'm closing it up. And the, that will be the bottom. And now I'm gluing the lid to the top, which was really the bottom. I'm not good making polymer clay food, but I managed to make some candy, some licorice whips, and some peppermint sticks. I hope you have fun creating some of your own. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.